What's happening, you bad motherfuckers? on Patreon. This is the album of the week. Album of the week. I'm doing this. This is a whole new series. I'm not doing it every week. I recently got fucking pegged onto an album by mistake. You know, you put YouTube on. It plays different songs. And uh, Dirt came on. Alice in Chains, Dirt, 1992. One of the songs came on, and I was like, what the fuck? I got to put this album on. I put the album on, and guys, I had to go outside and do 25 bong hits. You forget. As you get older, you get caught up with different things. And if you like music, if you really like music, you listen to so many different things. You know, but you got a family, you got a wife, a kid. You know, you can only get it in when you get it in. And then you think you want to listen to something, and then it's something else that's just right around the corner. I put this album, Dirt On, as I was driving. Guys, I didn't know what to do. I mean, this album really, really, really is a world-class album, you know? And in my world, I got to tell you, I love the whole Seattle sound. Nirvana, Soundgarden, Mother Love Bone, Alice in Chains, uh, fucking Eddie Vedder. I loved them all. But now, in hindsight, like looking back at everything... I tell you, this album is one of the best things to come out of Seattle. That, the fucking, the little kid that sued Nirvana, that album, you know. These albums are history. This is like fucking George Washington cutting down the cherry tree or whatever the fuck he cut down. He said he didn't do it or he did it. It's the same thing. You can read about American history. This album has, just off the top of my head, wood, dirt, which nobody even talks about, uh, them bones, down in a hole and rooster. Not to even mention the fucking God smack, rain when I die. I mean, this out and listen, for you people who are California sober, whatever you call yourselves, this is an out. This is like my man Mike says there's fentanyl music, the shit you motherfuckers listening to today, and then you have heroin music. Some of the albums, you know, uh, Black Sabbath, Volume 4. You could even say Black Sabbath Volume 3. All the early shit by fucking Motley Crue. But uh, Aerosmith, the first five albums, they're heroin. When you listen to Rocks, it's pure fucking heroin. Get Your Wings, they were just starting to pop a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like doing a little coke. By the time they did fucking Draw the Line and the other album, they were full fucking blown. These motherfuckers, I mean, this ended tragically. I know that they're on the road still doing it. In fact, it's Jerry Cantrell's birthday today. Happy birthday, cocksucker. But honest to God, I think Dirt is up there with fucking Zeppelin 2 is kind of heroiny. You know, uh, what's the other one that's very heroiny? Oh, uh, not the last one. They were already shot. Physical Graffiti. Very heroiny albums. If you like that type of music, give fucking dirt a try. And listen to it a couple fucking times. Like I said to you, I never thought there was anything better than Nevermind. Is that the album? I never thought there was anything better than the first Pearl Jam album. I never thought there was anything better than Soundgarden Super Unknown. Holy fuck. I give all those albums fucking props. But this motherfucker here, Alice in Chains Dirt, it's worth every fucking dime. Anyway, take my word for it to go fuck yourself. <laughs> Smoke some dope. Skin pop some heroin when you lose a cousin and see what I'm talking about. Just don't OD and blame it on Uncle Joey on the fucking goodbye note. You know what I'm saying? The album of the week, album of the fucking month is Allison Chains Dirt. Check it out. Uncle Joey loves you, cocksuckers.